Hello, uh, welcome again. Uh, as we had talked in the previous lesson, we are going to start from uh, this uh, uh, section of uh, students. We, you remember we had already captured the teachers, as you can see, although not so many, but just enough for this particular demonstration. So we're going next uh, students, and under students, you can see we have years, groups, and subgroups, as I had explained in our very first video. So years, this can be forms or classes, whichever one you are using, or grades, or even uh, whichever name. So let's, let me say I have uh, one, it could be class one or form one with 60 students, so although this particular number is very optional, and then I have uh, two with also 60 students, uh, three with 60 students, uh, four with 60 students, um, uh, okay, that's enough. It can go up to eight if you're using uh, primary classes or up to form four, depending on, on on that. You could have also simply have typed the word form or class before that particular number, just to indicate whether you're talking of a form or a class. But for generalization, I will just use numbers in this case so that it makes sense to everyone. Now, after that, I want to, to add something uh, under this. I now want to go to groups. Now, I'll say, uh, let me bring this here so that you can see it. I want to add a group. So, under Form 1 or Class 1, I'll say I have a stream called E, which has uh, 20 students. Another stream called uh, M with 20 students, another one called W with 20 students. If you choose to put uh, the, the numbers, the, make sure that all the sub, the, the groups, uh, the numbers in all the groups add up to the overall number or below that particular number. So next I'll go to this. It also still has that uh, the same requirements, uh, M. W and E. Okay, up to this point, uh, okay, this one also M, W. Okay, it's giving a warning because I'm not feeding it any, any, any data here. Uh, Okay, then the I'll also add M, sorry, M, and W, and finally E. Now we've we've uh, we've uh, we can close this. We've, we've you can you can be sure we've added uh, data on students. Now what is uh, remaining is on activities. As an introduction, because I believe on activities, we can do that in our next uh, uh, in our next video. But as an introduction on activities, when, once you get to an activity, you will be required to choose a teacher, a, a student set, and a subject for that particular teacher before you can add them together. So, for instance, if I say Mr. Ben teaches uh, from one, sorry, we must have got this wrongly, from one English, I think we can correct, in our next lesson, we will look at how, to cor how we need to correct that particular mistake, that should be very well in order. Thank you for tuning in, let's meet in the next lesson.